Hi, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be talking about potty training. I have now a three and a half year old. He was born in August 2012 and we have been working on potty training since June of 2015. So for about, what is that, nine, ten months? Um, we started as soon as I got out of work in June and attempted the three-day method. And I'm here to tell you that the three-day method does not work for everyone. So basically our method was pretty simple. After the first three days of being naked and that not working by magic, which I didn't think it would anyways, um, we wound up, because uh, I was home every day because I'm a teacher, um, what we wound up doing was if we were home, we were either um, naked or wearing underwear, and every 10 minutes we would go on the potty. I would use the pull-ups um, potty app, and we would set it together, or we would set a timer, and every 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes progressively, when that timer went off, we would sit on the potty and try to go potty. And if we didn't need to go, we didn't need to go. And if we had an accident in between, um, we had a bunch of towels ready to go and he would help me clean up the accident on the floor, or wherever the couch, wherever it happened to be, and we would take care of that. If we needed to go out, and I think we stayed home for like two weeks straight, um, we would take pull-ups with us. No more diapers, we were done with diapers. We would take our pull-ups in our bag, we would wear one in the car. I also, I'll show you later in this video, um, something that I have in his car seat, just as kind of like a backup. Um, it's totally safe to have in there, it's made by the car seat company. Um, we would go ahead and wear pull-up out, um, but we would still, if we were in a store, some place that we had access to a bathroom, or a friend's house or whatever, we would go potty still in those increments. Yes, it was a pain. Um, we tried not to go out if we didn't have to. And we still do the same thing depending on where we're going. If we're just going to a restaurant and we don't have a far drive, um, we will not wear a pull-up. Or if we're going to school or whatever. But if we're somewhere that's going to be really distracting, like the Children's Museum, um, I might choose to put a pull-up on him. It kind of depends on the situation. Usually we will not at this point, but it's been about nine or ten months since we started potty training. Um, he was a little less than three years old when we started, and now he's three and a half. So it's been a while, and we've kind of got the hang of things down for the most part. Um, he still has occasional accidents at school. At school, they do not use a pull-up at all. They also take much shorter naps at his school, so an hour to two hours, he's totally fine. He could hold it for like four or five hours sometimes, which scares me. Um, but we do also use nighttime pull-ups, which I'll show you guys later in the video as well, um, for bedtime. That is our next feat, is getting rid of the pull-ups for regular nap time, because on the weekends he'll sleep three or four hours for a nap sometimes, and maybe that's where I need to cut him off, is down to an hour to nap. Um, but everybody cherishes those naps, right? Carter, what do you think about using the potty instead of diapers? Uh, it was pretty good. It's pretty good. And do you like wearing pull-ups for nap time and for bedtime? Yeah. Yeah, they're nice to have, right? So we don't have an accident. Yeah, we did do some very important steps in getting him ready to use the potty. Um, we let him kind of see how it works and explore things in the in the washroom. You guys will see he kind of knows where everything is now and what everything is called. Um, we used sticker charts, which I will show you guys. I got those from the pull-ups website and printed those out. And he loves those and earning little rewards and things like that. And we let him um, go ahead and help us shop for his new underwear and pick out his pull-ups. They have a couple different designs, which was really cool, and he loves cars. So that was so perfect that they had cars pull-ups um, because he's okay with wearing them. Even he knows diapers aren't for big boys, but pull-ups are okay for nap time and bedtime So and when we go out. So that's really great. So you guys are going to see some more stuff in this video, um, packing our diaper bag for potty training, as well as the little basket we use for potty training and a few other things. So thanks for checking it out, and uh, we'll see you guys soon.
So this was basically our little setup for potty training um, this past summer into the fall. And we have our television right here with some videos and things. We have our potty right there in the living room. And another chair for him. Um, we have our train table with lots of toys and things, but lots of other activities. The kitchen is right there. And so I would set a timer for every 10 minutes. Um, and every 10 minutes we would sit down on the potty or try to sit on the potty. And if he didn't need to go, we'd set it again for another 10 minutes. And as the days went by and he got a little better at holding a little longer, um, we would then increase the amount of time in between. So then you can see here right off the living room, we also have this deck in the back. So when it's warm outside, we were able to set up some outside activities. And because we don't have anyone living behind us or very close that can see if he chose to go outside and play naked or in his underwear pull up, that was totally cool, no problem. So that really kept us busy and with plenty of activities to do while we were potty training. This is our potty training basket. Um, so we actually modified this from our original little diaper caddy. Our diaper caddy was this little 31 tote, um, which had you know, a thermometer and lotion, hand sanitizer, and of course diapers and wipes. So instead we would put in our pull-ups because um, we use these for long car trips and nap time still. Um, we have boogie wipes, a diaper, um, a changing pad, some powder, some butt paste, and some toddler wipes. Those I found are very necessary when you have a child who is learning how to poop on the potty. Um, and then we also have a ton of underpants. So if we needed a quick change, we could do that easily. We have a pair of slippers in here in case our feet got cold. And then regular um, baby wipes. We have three different potties that we use here at home. We have our um, small red potty seat by Baby Bjorn um, that we have currently in the living room, except for when, you know, other people come over. Um, and that has made it really easy to get him to start transitioning to using the potty um, because it's in one of his favorite places with all of his toys and things. Then we have this seat, um, and we actually have these at Grandma's houses as well, um, you know, which sits right on the potty and has the handles. We keep this in one bathroom um, that we don't use very often, but for baths, so we have that in there. And then we also have this potty seat, which has this little ladder with these little feet placements that he can climb up on and then it has the handles to hold on to, um, which he's just starting to learn to use this one, but it makes it easier for him to get up onto the grown-up toilet on his own. I'll show you one other thing we have that we keep in the car while we are potty training, and we might keep this in here a little while, is um, a protective seat cover. So this um, is sold by the same company that makes our seat, which is a Britex or Britex or however you want to say it. And it is, if you guys can see that, it's a gray color and it's a regular fabric on top, but it's got kind of a rubbery fabric on the bottom there. So it is waterproof. And this has saved us a time or two from a potty accident when someone refused to go potty before we left the house. We got a toothbrushes. What else do we have in the bathroom? Two potties. Two potties. We have a little potty and we have a big potty, right? And what's on the wall? Uh something I could uh it's pretty good to the so you could make that. Is that your sticker chart? Yeah. And so when do you get a sticker? Do you remember? It's I have odd the stickers on this sticker chart. So you get a sticker when you tell mommy or daddy you need to go potty, when you sit on the potty, when you go potty, when you put your pants back on by yourself, when you flush the potty, and when you wash your hands, right? And then down here, 
we get a sticker if we didn't have any accidents, right? And you used get the potty and did everything right all day. And today we had an accident, but that's okay. Accidents happen sometimes, don't they? Accident. Yeah, it's okay to have an accident sometimes. What else do we have in the potty that we use when we're using the potty? What's uh, this? What? What is that? What? What's this for? Washing. Washing hands. And you have a stool, right? So you can reach. I do. Yeah. And that, and that is where you hold your toothbrush in your <laughs> hand and in there. That's right. Anything else you want to show us in the potty? Do we get everything? Um, um, there's a bathtub over there. Oh, yeah, that's the bathtub, right? Do you like to use the big potty or the little potty? I like to use the little potty because I, I said little potty. Yeah, thanks.